All right, so let's solve a problem which happened in JM in 2025. In this question, we have been asked to find the product of all the rational roots of this equation. So as you can see, this is already a quadratic and then there is a square here and then there are two things which are multiplied here. Uh, so we need to find out all the roots. So there will be multiple roots if this is how it is, right? So what we need to do is first of all, make it a quadratic and then later solve it, right? So if you write this question down, what you've got is x squared minus 9x plus 11 whole squared. And then here you've got x minus 4 into x minus 5, which is actually equal to 3. Now, if you try multiplying this, because anyways you have to solve it, what you will find out this will turn out to be x squared and then minus 4x and minus 5x will be minus 9x and then minus 4 into minus 5 will be plus 20. You can bring in minus 3 from this side as well, which is equal to 0. And this is also x square minus 9x plus 11 whole squared equals to, this is equal to 0. Now, if I make this as x square minus 9x, 9x plus 11, then things will be a much simpler one, right? So think of this as x square minus 9x plus 11 whole squared, and this would be, Again, x square minus 9x plus 11 and plus, we can write this as plus 9 minus 3. Now we can look at uh, substituting x square minus 9x plus 11 as something like a y. So we'll assume this to be this and then try looking at what this will become. So this will become y square. And this will become y plus 9 minus 3 equals to 0, which is looking like a much simpler quadratic solve now. So y square minus y minus 9 minus 3 will be minus 12 equals to 0. Now I can factorize this. This will become y square minus 4y minus plus 3y minus 12 equals to 0. So we want a minus y. So minus 4 plus 3, right? So y we can take common. So this will become y minus 4. And if I take 3 common, this will be y minus 4 equals to 0. So here actually we get two values of y. One is y plus 3 into y minus 4 equals to 0. So either y could be equal to 3. This is one of the solution or y could be equal to 4. And why did we write it like this is because we want to solve this further because this is what is my y, right? So x square minus 9x plus 11 equals to 3. And this is x square minus 9x plus 11 equals to 4, right? So this is not 3, this is minus 3. Minus 3, right? So this is minus 3. Now this will become x square minus 9x plus 14 equals to 0. And this will become x square minus 9x plus 7 equals to 0. Now if I look at this, uh, what will I find? I will find this x to be plus 9 plus minus b square minus 4ac, right? Divide by Two, which will give me 9 plus minus 81 minus 28 will be 53. So from here, I will get only irrational roots, which is something which I don't want. Uh, we only want rational roots. This can be factorized and this can be written as x square minus 2x minus 7x plus 14 equals to 0. And we can write this as x minus 2. And this can be minus 7 into x minus 2 equals to 0. Or x is taken common here. So this is going to be x minus 7 into x minus 2 equals to 0. Or you could say that x is either 2 or 7. So these are my two rational roots. But I want only the product of this rational root. So which is 2 into 7, which is 14. And 14 is what will be your answer. All right. So that's all for this question. If you got any queries, do ask me in the comment section below. And I'll be happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.